Nine hours to go until kickoff in Cologne. England against Slovenia in their final group game of Euro 2024. Our senior reporter Rob Dorset joins us from live outside the England team hotel. And there's been a bit of movement that you've seen this morning, Rob. Yeah, there is, Nick. Exclusive pictures we can show you on Sky Sports News. Let's get straight to them because uh, the England team have got on board that famous bus that we've seen an awful lot of over the last 10 days or so. And they've headed away from the team hotel to go for an activation session where they get the, the muscles going. You can see the players coming out there now. Look, uh, this was literally just a few minutes ago. You can see Ollie Watkins and Joe Gomez, the captain, Harry Kane. I fully expect him to start tonight, even though some people think he should be rested. Uh, we expect him to lead the line. The hope will be with John Stones just behind him likewise and Kyle Walker, Trent Alexander-Arnold in the middle of your picture. He might be the one casualty. I think he could be the one change for England tonight. Him dropping to the bench. And look at this moment. Jude Bellingham, star of the show. He doesn't queue for anybody. He gets on the front of the England team bus while the rest of the guys are queuing back there. Again, I expect Jude Bellingham to start tonight, even though a lot of players are caught, a lot of people are calling for him to be rested. He looks quite tired. And Phil Foden at the back of the queue look there with Bakayo Saka. Phil Foden will not be at the back of the queue tonight when the England team list is put in, as I understand it. I expect him to start again for England tonight with Bakayo Saka, who was just in front of him. Uh, so uh, very few changes for Gareth Southgate in this team that we expect him to name tonight. Uh, of course, there has been a clamour uh, for changes from pundits and from fans alike, the likes of Anthony Gordon, Cole Palmer, not given a single minute so far in this tournament. And after those two lacklustre performances in the opening two group games, there was some call for changes to be made, maybe players that needed a uh, be given some rest but of course England need a result and because they need a result I expect Gareth Southgate to name the strongest possible starting 11 that he can and even though he's admitted that performances haven't been great haven't been up to England's usual standards in those first two games he thinks that is his best team and so I think that change Conor Gallagher into the midfield in space in the place of Trent Alexander-Arnold may be the only change that England make now look I'm being a little bit circumspect in that team news because I spoke to a couple of sources last night and that was last night, 24 hours before the game. And Southgate is still looking at medical reports and conditioning reports, trying to work out that complicated jigsaw puzzle about who needs game time, who needs rest, who does he want to see and give an opportunity to. Um, but it looks like he's sticking with Foden. It looks like he's sticking with Bellingham. It looks like he's sticking with Saka and Harry Kane up top. The same front four, um, which is a controversial one, isn't it? I think some England fans would like to see that change. But Foden was very good, I thought, in the last game against Denmark in that 1-1 draw. I think he will keep those players on until he's confident that England have got the, the, the game where they need it. If England are two or three goals up, then he might start ringing the changes early in the second half. That's the ideal scenario that he would wish for, so that England can control the minutes of the players that are out there. But until it's guaranteed, I think he will keep a very strong team out there. Remember, uh, England have already guaranteed qualification, but they need a win to guarantee that they top the group. And if they top the group, they avoid Germany in the last 16 in Dortmund on Saturday. They'll desperately be keen to do that. If they top the group, it's probably in an easier route in the knockout stages as well. So this isn't a game where England and Gareth Southgate wants to rip the, the team sheet up and start from scratch. He will put what he thinks is his str strongest starting 11 out uh, to try and get a result and then maybe make some substitutions later on in the game. Glorious scene behind you there, the, the River Rhine, the railway bridge over one shoulder leading to the station next to the famous old cathedral you can see over your other shoulder. The England fans were having a ball in glorious weather and a, a generally positive atmosphere, yeah? Yeah, Link Nick has been great so far. We were in town last night and it's a beautiful city, Cologne, you have to say, and the England fans were enjoying it thoroughly. They were mixing with the locals. There was a bit of banter going on with some of the local fans. We saw a heavy police presence, but in the background, that was only just in case of any trouble. And I can confirm to you this morning, no England arrests at all last night, no reports of any disorder. And I think the UK Football Policing Unit, who don't have jurisdiction out here, remember, in Germany, but they work very closely with their German counterparts, have been very, very pleased with the behaviour of England fans out here in Germany to date. Uh, no arrests last night, and they say that's been indicative of the England behaviour across uh, the group stages so far. More than 10,000 England fans uh, are in the city uh, for the game tonight. In fact, the official statistics will tell you that there's a sellout crowd of 42,561 
expected inside the stadium tonight. Approximately 18,000 English fans will be in there with tickets, they say. 9,500 Slovenian fans. Listen, I guarantee there will be more than 18,000 England fans in that game. They seem to get tickets from everywhere. So England will outnumber the Slovenian fans tonight for sure in a game that Gareth Southgate desperately wants to win to make sure they top the group. But also, I think he wants a performance, and that's what most people are calling for now, an impressive England performance to build some momentum going into these uh, knockout stages and also cast away some of the doubters, the critics who've been very outspoken about England performances so far, myself included. I don't think England have played well. I think they've looked lacking in en energy. I've, I've got concerns about fitness levels and, and game plans of the team as a whole. But look, all that changes if they get a big win against Slovenia tonight. I know you do your research very thoroughly. There's a particular kind of beer in Cologne called Kolsch, which I'm sure loads of those England fans have been trying out. In the interest of research, have you been investigating? No, but our camera operator, Chris jo Johnston, has had a lot of that. And he says he's giving me the thumbs up while I'm talking to you right now. He thinks it's great stuff, Nick. I know you've been out here. It's a beautiful city. It's a brilliant city. The England fans are enjoying it. And look, the weather's great, isn't it? That makes a big difference. We're talking 28 degrees Celsius uh, expected to here in Cologne today. I think it's similar back home in England right now in parts of the country, isn't it? But the point is, whilst England fans are enjoying it back home, the England fans are enjoying it out here as well. Interesting little footnote, though, Nick. The England players have just gone off for that, that activation session where they'll get their muscles moving, they'll do some stretches, they'll probably walk through some of the set pieces uh, that they've been working on in training for the last couple of days. Uh, nothing too strenuous, but they will realise just how hot it is. It's much hotter in Cologne than it has been back at their base in Blankenhain in the last 10 days, two weeks that they've been down there. So that will be an interesting factor inside the stadium tonight. It might be an 8 o'clock kick-off UK time. It will still be very hot. We think 23, 24 degrees. So people that are calling for a high-energy England game might just have to be aware that the conditions are not necessarily conducive to that. Declan Rice has promised it will be all guns blazing and England will be on the front foot. Let's see. It seems a big, big game and an important one for Gareth Southgate and his side, doesn't it?